Well, it looks like the actress who plays Galadriel in the new Rings of Power Amazon series, Morphid Clark, has responded to the fans. Um, not re reassuring them of anything regarding the show, but in regards to the backlash that they have received for one of the castmates. I was scrolling through Instagram and saw that Morphid had a Instagram story posted, so I went to go check it to see if there were any updates for the show. And instead, I was greeted with this lovely message, saying, Anyone sending hate to my black castmates, get off my page, get off the internet, and shut up. And after that, there was a short clip that basically stated, shut the F up. So, something that you really want to hear from one of the actresses who is playing one of your lead roles in the new Lord of the Rings, uh, Rings of Power Amazon series. Very reassuring. All sarcasm aside, if there are actual people who are spreading that kind of hatred and who are being overtly racist to some of the black cast members in the Rings of Power series, then yes, those actions should not be condoned. But, we have to recognize and we have to realize that this is the internet. There are going to be awful people that say horrible, terrible things. And that is just the reality of the internet. And I think what Morphit is getting at here is she sees a lot of the criticism as racism. And where have we seen that before? They're taking a, a page right out of Lucasfilms and Disney's playbook. What happened when the Obi-Wan Kenobi series was first put out and we saw Reva in the show? A lot of people were criticizing her character. Not the actress herself, Moses Ingram, but Disney started to hashtag and put all these things out like, well, we stand beside Moses Ingram or we support Moses Ingram, which is fine, but it was criticism towards the character that she was playing, not Moses herself. Moses seems like a very kind, passionate, and beautiful woman, but her character played no actual part in the series. Real quick, if you are enjoying, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. And you can also catch me on my live stream, Max's Man Cave, every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific. But instead of dismissing those comments against Moses and just recognizing them as crazy weirdos on the internet, they doubled down and they started weaponizing that to use it against the fans. And that's when people really started getting upset, rightfully so. So now, are we seeing Amazon doing the same thing mere weeks before the first episode premiering on September 2nd? Which is the date of Tolkien's death, by the way, let's not uh, forget that one. But yes, I can kind of understand if Morphid is trying to stand up for her fellow castmates but this is not the right way to do so. And I think what Morphid has to understand here is that the behavior of Sophia Numvedi, if we are actually talking about her, the reason why she's been getting so much backlash and so much criticism is because of her behavior in these interviews. She consistently, constantly talks about herself. She cannot help it. It's like a nervous tick. Whenever someone asks a question, it could be something that doesn't even have anything to do with her. And she's still able to wrap the conversation around her self-centered, egotistical topics. Uh, playing the first female dwarf. These are lies. Because a quick Google search will show you that in Peter Jackson's The Hobbit uh, films, that she is not the first female dwarf and that she is in fact spreading lies. I'm the first female dwarf. I'm the first female black dwarf. All these different talking points that maybe the producers and showrunners told her to run with. But regardless of what she was told by these producers and whatnot, she could not help herself from consistently saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again about me, 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 me. I want to hear about Diza, the dwarven princess who she is playing. I want to hear about the mines of Moria in which she inhabits. I want to hear about how she read Tolkien and was how, how she was able to utilize the works of Tolkien's uh, dwarven ancestry and how she utilized that into her character. Are we gonna hear any of that? No. 
we aren't going to hear an ounce of that from her because it doesn't involve her when it should. It should involve her and her character. But like I said, she is so self-centered and narcissistic that she won't even mention anything regarding Tolkien, his works, or her cast members, or anything of the sort. That is why she is receiving criticism. Not because of her skin color, not because she is a female, but because of her behavior. And like I said before, I don't think Morphid understands that. And if she does, then shame on her for trying to weaponize this against the fans and telling them to shut the F up. If that is how all these actors and actresses and screenwriters and producers are going to react when they're seen with criticism, then their show will never be watched. They will not have a fan base. They will make them run off. And like I said, this is not the first time we have seen this. We've seen it from Lucasfilm, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, you name it. This is how they've been promoting their shows within the past half decade until corporations and Hollywood and actors and actresses start recognizing that the fans are criticizing these things because they love it, not because they have some racist agenda. We will never get anywhere. We will never see common ground. I hope that this is the last that we see of these type of comments, but unfortunately, I think this is only the beginning. So it begins. In my opinion, I feel the best response that Morphid could have had with this was just not to respond at all. The more you publicize these types of comments and these racial slurs or whatnot, the more it's going to look bad towards the show. If you continually say how grateful you are and thankful you are and blessed you are of having this opportunity, of having the great privilege and honor of being on a show of this magnitude, that is how you promote a show. But the worst thing you could do pr to promote your show is by weaponizing criticism against your fans when their criticism is valid. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Morphid was actually being genuine and authentic here with her statements? Or do you think they were just made out of frustration and anger? Or is this just part of their marketing ploy? Do they want to start playing the racist card, if you will, towards the fans again? I'm not really sure. But I really hope that uh, it's nothing more than maybe just frustration and trying to protect her fellow castmates. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.